This is Reverb Audio and we are continuing looking at the Audio Nirvana full range drivers uh, for, for your single driver speaker card projects and we are looking at the 12 inch uh, classic ferrite version now so which is similar to the 8 inch but with a bigger basket so let's see what how does it compare to his other brother so let's just see i'm looking at yep classic 10 ferrite so basically i'm looking at this driver and uh, and what do we have here one thing i want to look at magnet weight is 1.4 kilograms so we are seeing that the magnet weight here is also the same so uh, it, it looks like we are getting the same motor assembly and what's the total weight where do we have uh, 4.15 kilo and this is 3.95 kilo so basically we are getting a bigger basket to house the 10 inch cone but we uh, but it's using the same motor assembly to provide power so basically what is happening here we that the the cone itself the 10 inch cone the bigger cone has the same muscle behind it to push it front and back so so what's the result of that uh, will the uh, will it be able to play lower frequency sounds sure uh, it will have uh, so when we change such parameter as driver cone size it will mean that when it's bigger it will be more comfortable at reproducing lower frequency sounds because every driver is most comfortable of reproducing those sounds where the wavelength is half of the diameter so for a 10 inch cone uh, a 20 inch long wave is uh, the uh, is the most optimal to reproduce so let's just have a look at here and and as we see they now specify the much lower minimum frequency response but here the self resonant frequency moved down to 33 hertz from 46 hertz and that truly means that that this driver is more comfy at, at playing at, at, at a, at a uh, lower frequency range however the the BIA, the mo magnetic strength 11 tesla meter and their uh, BL 11.5 tesla meter so look at that so actually the smaller one the 8 inch one has a, a tiny bit stronger motor compared to the bigger brother so basically we, we are losing a tiny bit uh, lower a tiny bit more muscle in in the bigger uh, driver which is not a good idea because what it means that if we want lower frequency to reproduce even if the motor strength is exactly the same it means that we are getting lower efficiency so that's what the laws of physics say and what else does the law of physics say is that we will need a much bigger loudspeaker cabinet to be optimal for this uh, larger volume and check this out the optimal uh, the VAS uh, is 180 liters versus the the 18 driver where it is oh there it is 55 liters so basically it's jumped to three and a half size so the cabinet that's optimal for the 10 inch version it, uh, to get the uh, improvement in base response and and keep uh, a similar efficiency in the output a similar sensitivity then you need a cabinet which which is almost four times bigger than the one you would need uh, to build and uh, design for the 8 inch cabinet so now let's have uh, what else do we want and as you see the X Max is even a little bit smaller than what was specified for the 8 inch model so it means that the peak sound pressure level where this driver is going to give you high fidelity uh, reproduction will be a couple db lower 
than the 8 watt model because we are restricting with the XMAX so we have 20% uh, less excursion so we can push out uh, less uh, air but also uh, we get an increase in the total volume of air displaced because it's 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 a larger uh, larger surface moving the air but also because we are moving uh, if we are working at lower frequencies those lower frequencies require just exponentially higher volumes of air to displace. So actually, when you are listening to a wide band uh, music material, which has, let's say, like kettle drums or, or church organ, then uh, you will need to keep your SPL, the peak SPL, lower than what you would do with the 8-inch version. So if that's a consideration for you, uh, then you can think about that, especially given that for the 10-inch version, you would need a much bigger cabinet. And uh, the VAS 180 liters, I would say that uh, try to build something like a 120 liter cabinet at least for it, or maybe 150 liter base reflex cabinet. And then it will be quite happy in that cabinet but uh, don't try to build uh, something like like a two cubic feet which is like a 60 liter cabinet it will completely suffocate this driver and you will not be able to enjoy what it can do in the base department because you will be just uh, snuffing out or sniffing out the base so what else has changed uh, it is laws of physics so we have the same motor the same energy output but we are moving uh, lower frequencies with the main portion of the cone the dust cap itself which is re responsible for reproducing the high frequencies that's the same for both of the cones i mean both of the models both 8 watt and 10 watt models and uh, and, and how it is affected by the size of the cone change, it, it will behave differently because it's a different part of the assembly that produces the high frequencies versus the mid-range and the low frequencies. And it's apparent from the frequency response graphs. So here, let's just go back to the, oh, sorry, to the 8 inch version. So when we look at the 8 inch version, what we saw at, at, at the high frequency was a really, a, quite benignly integrated with, with, with the mid-range and, and, and the mid-base uh, and uh, there, there is a little rise here but there's not, no steep change, it, it's gradual and, and when we are getting like really high energy we have uh, peaks and valleys so it's not going to be as disruptive as, as having a peak and, and having everything ride high on top and, and everything like super hard but now let's see what we have happening here when we increase the overall driver surface to force the energy of the main cone towards lower frequencies. What's happening there? So what we can see, look, so when we are looking at the upper base and now we are going to the mid base and here from 50 hertz, that's the deep base. And, and we see that the upper base it has uh, has quite a bit of energy but it's a little bit more jagged and, and and rugged than what we see here for this driver so here we see that the the peak is around the mid base and then the upper base is just keeps here and then there's there's a step up at, at the top of the upper mid base lower mid range it's getting stronger and stronger so it has a a lot of lower mid-range uh, and, and peak of the upper base energy there. So, so that's, that's pretty good for vocals and then if you want to bask in the beauty of the tonality of an electric guitar, then, then this will give you a, a really nice result. And, and it's, it's quite a, a, a smooth, I would say, for, for human vocals. So if you want to listen to human vocals, it will give you a nice uh, experience. The same also goes for a piano, for example. And now let's listen, let's check out what we would hear with the 10-inch version. So here, what 
is apparent uh, is that we have a big notch here, you see, around 440 hertz. I think everyone already knows what that is. That's the middle key of the piano, that's the A440, or, or also called A4, so the fourth A, the middle of the A notes, and it's 10 dB lower than the note, uh, the G4 that precedes it. So basically, if you, if you listen to a piano, like Byron Jan is playing uh, pictures of an exhibition, and... Uh, and when he's playing a, 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 a G4 note and then, and then anything else that, that comes lower than that or higher than that, you will hear the piano playing. But when he suddenly hits the A4 key, then you will hear that uh, he, it, it will make the impression as if he has missed the key because it, it will sound so soft, you, it, you, it will barely register. And if you, if you uh, don't know the piece too much, your hearing might even miss that there was a note there. And John Atkinson uh, from the Stereophile Review would go totally nuts that, oh my god, uh, the, the A440, the middle A at the piano, I, I couldn't hear it as clearly as the rest. And, Da, da, da. So this would guarantee this driver uh, a totally shabby review and stereophile would uh, just flush it down for no good reason, I would say, because uh, uh, there are plenty of drivers that, that stereophile has rated as A+, and uh, wrote tirades against it, which had much greater problems than having a soft A4. So, so I would say that, that this is nothing that, that, that's a deal breaker. It will not uh, make this the worst driver on the planet. No, I think it, it still means that this driver has tremendous potential. This has the, it has this personality. And you can expect it. When someone is singing the, the, the middle A or playing it on the piano, it will be softer. And uh, if you are fine with that, that 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 does not create a, a crisis in your life, then, then I would say don't give a second thought about it, okay? And uh, with that in mind, this entire region between 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz. So basically, we are going from the upper bass through uh, lower mid range. This entire region. Uh, rates at a flat uh, around 99 dB, but it cannot be 99. I think it's, this is also probably plus 10 dB rated. So I would say probably a 90 dB. Uh, and whatever it is, I don't know because uh, there, there's some discrepancy between what we see here and what we see there. Mm or I don't know how they integrated the numbers, so, so, so for me it doesn't make sense. I, I will show you some measurements from SEAS and with FOSTEX, and there the, those numbers show direct correlation, but, but here I, I, I just cannot wrap my mind about it. And the only thing I can think about is that they, they made some of the measurements at, at 10 watt input and, and they, they forgot to adjust the scale, and then for there they already adjusted it. So when we go back here, you see it's that line and, and this range from 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz uh, is about, we can hardly see, but, but I toyed around uh, like an hour or more yesterday and this is like about an average of 2 dB above the line and here this is like an average of about 1 dB below the line. So means that the difference between the two drivers is that the mid bass and the lower mid-range and the upper bass will be 3 dB quieter with your uh, bigger driver. It's, isn't that quite amazing? Uh, but I would need to add that because of the drop and the, at the A440 and, and a couple hundred hertz around it, and, and there's like a couple dB peak before that, so, so this peak occurs right at the end of the upper base so the that that will give it a little bit of um, subjective perception that you have more upper base coming from this unit compared to this other unit where we do not have that 
it, it's still here you see but it, it's really tiny and minute and there's a, there's a, a, a an even greater peak coming at at the low mid range after it so so the upper mid base will not jump out at you the way that it does with the 10 inch model and what are we getting at the low frequency so at 50 hertz we are at uh, like a minus 5 db compared to uh, a, a 200 hertz level and and with the 80 i mean the 8 uh, inch version like compared to a 200 hertz at 50 we are about the same about 5 6 db down so it looks like there's nothing different happening in the base and uh, and uh, if I do not look at anything else, just look at these two figures and compare them, the, the verdict is that the 8-inch uh, driver has a much stronger base response than the 10-inch driver. And that, that seems kind of counterintuitive, right? And also, uh, what we can hear, what we can notice, is that the entire... Uh, lower mid range and, and mid base and upper base entire region leveled down 3 dB compared to the smaller brother but this upper range here so like like uh, the upper mid range and, and the highs uh, up to about 8 kilohertz they they stand out more they, 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 they step out much more than what we see here so, so here for the 8 inch driver we see that the 2 to 5k region that, that's kind of like um, the average is still here it doesn't, doesn't uh, stick out from, the, from, the, uh, from this region here so it goes up here and then the whole thing is averaging right there uh, so when we're going to the, eight in, the 10 inch brother then the whole thing is leveled up so actually, the bigger uh, woofer driver will sound uh, more, I would not say more brighter, because what we see is that the 10 kHz plus region is tremendously down compared to what we see with the 8-inch with the model. You see, there we still have uh, quite a bit of energy up there going, riding out to like seven, 16, 17 kHz. And here we are, we are many dB down. We are missing those big peaks coming back up at that level. So how this will be is that uh, the 10 inch model will be more uh, fatiguing uh, because this range is just over represented where the ear has the highest uh, sensitivity. So if you play it loud, it will be more fatiguing, but it will sound much less extended because we are missing the 10 kilohertz peak. So 90% of the people will, will think that I will need a, sub, uh, a super tweeter to add. And uh, we are missing, I'm sorry, and we are missing also the, the, the peak at around uh, 17 kilohertz. So those people who have bad hearing, they will also think that we would need a sub for that. So, so I would say that uh, it's... <sighs> So with these figures, the 8-inch version is clearly much, much better than the 10-inch in every regard. But uh, uh, these are just measurements. And they don't tell you everything. They, they give you an educated guess on uh, how to plan around, where to start with your driver. But uh, what I have experienced in my life, that these measurements are just tell you the start of the story. They don't tell you where it will lead to and where it ends and what is the true potential. It, it will give you the, uh, the, the, the positive sides and, and it will highlight you the pitfalls you have to be aware of and, and, those, and certain design criteria you have to work with. But, uh, but that's it. I, I cannot tell uh, anything beyond that without listening to them and, and applying them and put, laying my hands on them. Uh, so, so now let's go and have a look at the Alnico version and I think I'd like to do that in the next video because we are already uh, high on time. So thank you for uh, chugging along and, and just bearing with this really monotonous uh, analysis but, but this is how you will learn. 
uh, I'll explain, I go through and, 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 and after you uh, experience a couple of these, then, then you will start picking up the pace and, and then next time I will be doing, looking at the Alnico and the 12 inch version, probably you will be already saying that uh, what will be my next sentence. So thank you everyone, please like, subscribe, thank you Igor for bringing these drivers to my attention, bye bye.